Hey everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up your own email server on AA panel and you will get 10 out of 10 delivery score for your emails. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. In order to set up your own email server, you should have three things ready. First, you should have your own VPS where a panel is installed. So right now, as you can see on your screen, I have my own VPS and I have the a panel installed right here. The second thing you need is your own domain name. Okay. So if you have domain name with the .com or .net, that will be extremely helpful as uh, .com and .net uh, .net domains are have high reputation. For me, I don't have option, so I am going to use this particular domain, which is one yt dot in. But it got good reputation. Okay. The third thing you should have domain access to or DNS access for that particular domain, so that we can add remove DNS record. So I am using Cloudflare DNS. So I have my own DNS access for me. Okay. And the last thing is your cloud provider should allow port 25 to send emails. Okay. If I talk about popular cloud providers like AWS, Linode, they don't allow to send emails. Okay. That's why we cannot host our own email server on their VPCs. But DigitalOcean allows, Contabo allows, and there are a few other cloud providers which allow to send emails. So for this particular tutorial, I am using DigitalOcean. I have created my server on DigitalOcean. Okay. So this IP basically belongs to DigitalOcean. That's what I'm trying to say. So first thing first we need to do is click on the app store on the left side. So let's click on the app store and here you have to search for mail. Okay. So let's uh, search for the mail and it will give you two options right here. First is mail server and another is anti mail spam gateway. So click on the mail server. You can click right here on install that should install the mail server plugin. So it will not just install one uh, mail server. It will install uh, postfix history. It will install. Okay. So it is already started. It will install the dev code. It will install RS spam. Okay. So let's wait for some time. And once it is installed, we will continue. Meantime, what you can do is you can add DNS record. So let's open my DNS right here. So as you can see, I am hosting multiple websites. So let me just uh, delete these records from here because uh, that website doesn't exist anymore. So let's open, copy this particular IP address. By the way, this IP address belongs to this particular VPS. As you can see right here, the IP is uh, same 147, 147, right? And we need to add one more record, which will say mail. And as you can see, it is auto completing here mail dot one yt dot in. Okay. So, uh, interface is a little bit uh, different for me because I'm using Cloudflare. But if you are using Namecheap, GoDaddy, it will be a little bit different. Uh, but the feeling is same. You need to add the a name record for mail subdomain. Okay. Let's paste IP address right here and I will turn off the proxy. If you are using Cloudflare, then only you will get this proxy option. Otherwise, you will not get proxy option. Make sure that you turn off for the mail uh, subdomain and save it. Okay. So this is how our record should look like. So let's minimize and let's see if the mail server is installed. It is still getting installed. Okay. So right now, as you can see, mail is installed and here the setting options is available. But apart from mail, you need to install Redis also. Search for the Redis and you can click on the install right here. But for me, uh, the Redis is already installed. So I'll just skip the process. Okay. Let's clear search on the mail and go back to the mail settings again. Let's click on the settings option on the right side of the screen. And once you click, click on the setting option, it is giving you some kind of pop up mail server is not installed. Is it installed? Uh, I'm not sure what kind of this stuff is there. So here I am getting some kind of error host name is test one, which is not valid host name. Then there is a Redis password, which is uh, not set up. That's also okay. Uh, I will click on the repair right here. And in the host name, I will add one yt dot in, which is my domain name. I will just uh, add the one yt dot name, or I can just add mail dot one yt dot in. That's also okay. The host name can be used for verifying the PTR record, like reverse uh, DNS record. Okay. So once that is done here, uh, we have the Redis password option. Uh, I'm not going to use this particular stuff. Okay. I'm just going to keep it default. Okay. Let's click on the submit here. Please fix all exceptions. Okay. Uh, please go to the Redis manager and set the password. Okay. That's, that's cool. That's cool. 
let's go here for the redis redis and let's search for it and let's go to the redis settings right here and here we should have the password option so here i will enter the simply password test one two three four so that is going to be my password so let's save it and let's close it and let's go back to the mail option right here okay so once we are in the mail option we should get something like this let's confirm and here as you can see we have all stuff ready let's click on the submit and that should uh, start process about the email okay okay the initialization is successful that's great okay here as you can see we can see the domain add domain option so we need to click on the add domain option and here we need to say mail dot uh, one yt dot in which is the domain we are going to use okay and uh, okay let me just please enter the anm record for okay it's there anm record is also there and please enter the domain name okay so here we need to remove the mail okay so let's submit and it will cross check the email record that we have added so as you can see we are getting a record okay because we have already added the a record right here okay we need to add the rest of the records okay let's go to the mx record it says not set okay so let's try to set it mx record first step is uh, adding the ms record for one yt dot in and priority is this okay so let's copy this particular value go back right here click on add record and here you can type mx and And here priority we need to set is 10 okay and uh, that's all looks good let's save it uh, similarly go back here and let's uh, add another uh, record which is txt record which is spf record let's copy the value it should be txt record and host record so let's go back right here let's click on the uh, add record let's go txt okay add the here and okay save it that's the one uh, let's minimize it then we need to add the default domain key record let's copy this particular option go here add right here let's say txt and paste this default domain key right here then go back to the our panel which is this one copy this default domain key and come here enter right here okay and save it similarly we need to add one more record which is dmark uh, uh, record okay so let's click on dmark uh, go to the, our dns click right here let's say txt and uh, paste it right here and let's copy the d mark value and let's add it right here and save it okay so that should be it so let's see uh all of the records which are saying right here we have already set so let's click on this particular option and it will cross check all the records okay uh it will say refresh the domain record so as you can see d mark record is added uh the mx record is still not detected spf record is not detected but it will be record detected because we have added uh, all of these options okay so in the meantime let's do one thing let's click on the add ssl to add ssl and once we click here we get let's encrypt option or other certificates so verification mode is dns verification and here i will just uh, use the manual resolution click on one way to dot in uh, select the domain right here and click on apply okay so once we click on apply it should give us some kind of records here so we will copy these particular records and add in the dns okay so let's go ahead let's copy this uh, record right here and go to the by the way this is txt record as you can see value right here is a txt okay so let's go right here and click on the add record let's type txt uh, sorry txt right here and let's paste this particular record i will remove one yt dot in from the end because it will be automatically appended as you can see in the top so let's go back here and let's copy this particular record value go back to the dns paste it save it okay uh, then again we need to go back right here we need to add for one yt dot in and zero issue we need to add record type which is caa first we need to make sure that i have that caa record okay so caa okay it's there okay that's great caa record is there so i'll just uh, simply go back here and i will copy zero issue let's encrypt okay and let's uh, select caa let's add at 
and uh, CA domain name is this one okay so this is the record let's save it and that should be it uh, then again we have third record which is this one let's copy this is basically to validate the SSL that we are going to set up so let's add it right here uh, and this is again the txt record so we can add the txt here right txt here and we can add the record value so let me just copy the record value and uh, let's go again right here and paste it okay in here we have fourth record also but as you can see second record and fourth record is exactly the same okay so let's click on the verification because we have added all records there so wait for some time and as you can see setting certificate status uh, it is loading the certificate so let's click on the save and once that is done it that should be it so as you can see SSL is right there so right now as you can see uh, when I hit refresh uh, as you can see MX record NM record and everything is turning into the green okay so by the way this took way way much long time okay so if you check my time right here it's a 6 37 p.m. And if you check my last time it will be a little bit uh, around 30 minutes back so it took almost 30 minutes to update all of the records I okay so next thing we need to do is we need to add on the user okay so here we need to add the user as you can see on the right side there is option called user there is a small option click on that and click here so we are going to add the user so here uh, okay so here as you can see we can create single user or batch user batch means you can create multiple user at the same time uh, here we can select admin user or general user I am going to keep the general user name is info and email address is info at one yt dot in and our password is some kind of random password which I will paste in my new tab so that I can remember and uh, then there is a mailbox space by default it's a 5 GB but we can increase this okay so let's click on the submit that should create our user okay let's go to the send email let's uh, send as a one yt dot in info dot one yt dot in a recipient uh, is going to be my another account so let's go here so this account is going to be uh, receiving address so let's go and paste it right here so this is, is going to be our mail body and so let me just add invite to party okay party okay so that's is going to be subject option and let's send it okay so they have some bug here which is saying theme but it's a subject option okay so right now this email has been sent and let me go ahead and let's uh, open so right now email is sent so let's me go ahead and open my gmail box and let's see if uh, i got that particular email or not okay so as you can see it is getting uh, the invite right here and by the way i'm using gmail so it is passing the all uh, criteria to enter in the gmail box okay so next thing we need to do is we need to do email test great so let's uh, go ahead and let's say um, test mail tester okay so let's say mail tester okay and hit enter as you can see mail tester is right here so let me open in the new tab copy email address go here paste it in the place of this email address and let me uh, copy my uh, content let me copy my content from here and i will say same thing here uh, invite sorry invite for party okay so that's the uh, content hi rob and invite for party and let's send it okay so and let's go back here and then check your score okay and let's see how it turns up so it thinks 8.8 .8. okay great so let's see how we can improve first thing first we are getting dk i am signed error then there is a uh, rdns none okay so reverse dns record does not exist so dk i am signed message so for this we need to go to the our uh, server and we need to do ssh login once again and we need to add some permissions to the file okay so let me just add my ssh uh, password 
and let's enter this server and let me just clear everything what we need to do is we, uh, we need to cd into slash www w and then share should be server option then there should be uh, let me check let me check then there should be dkim option okay it's a dkim of option then there is one yt dot in which is my domain and let me hit enter and do ls as you can see there is a default private key and default public key so i need to change uh, basically permissions for my private key so let me just copy and enter this particular command so let me just remove this uh, we need to enter this file name right here and we need to add the permission 644 hit enter and this should solve the dkim issue okay so first let me show you the score then i will show you what changes i have done okay so this is the 10 out of 10 uh, record score i got and uh, basically as you can see uh, subject is invite for party and you can check my servers also email is also from info uh, at one yt.in so yeah everything is great and this is the email i sent uh, so now let me tell you what changes i have done so biggest part was the ptr record because uh, ptr decides the reverse dns record and that was creating a problem so as you can see right here i added this ptr record for mail and this is a record for digital ocean that i have added and um, it started pointing out my reverse dns and it solved the issue and once that is solved i got uh, 10 out of 10 score right here okay so that's the all changes i have d done also there is a one thing i would like to tell you when i changed the ptr record they were not updated as like in the few minutes i had to wait for one hour to get updated those ptr record so as you can see my time i think uh, right here so as you can see uh, i have waited for one hour to get updated ptr record because uh, because it is taking too much time even if i am using cloudflare it's supposed to update the record like really quick but still it took like one hour right so that thing we uh, keep that thing in mind and also we, this video has a lot of cuts but uh, trust me i didn't miss any single point i just cut down the all uh, empty spaces in the video but everything i have done i have included in the video and i will make sure in the editing process also i include everything apart from this even if you feel like there is anything missing or if you have any doubt you can uh, ask in the comment box i will be uh, happy to reply to you and uh, yeah that's all for this particular video if you like it please uh, like the video and try to subscribe the channel and uh, that's uh, pretty much all uh, thanks for watching this one and see you in the next